Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add additional RAM to your Lenovo gaming laptop. Let's take a look at the computer here. If you take a look at the back, you should be able to see that it says IdeoPad Gaming 315ARH7. IdeoPad Gaming 3 Lenovo. So let's go ahead and get started. Get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. We need to remove all the screws and get into the back cover. So let's go ahead and remove the screws. You want to keep one thing in mind because the screws are all different sizes. So make sure that you do not mix mess, mix match those screws. Okay. The one here on the top left, top right, and the one in the middle, the screw is a lot longer. Comparing to the screws that are below down here. There are four screws at the bottom and it's a lot much shorter. Okay. Now once you have removed all the screws on this side of it, you still have to remove the two screws here in the front or the top of the computer. Once you have removed the two screws, you then now can try to pry open the top part right here because we need to slide this plastic off. I'm using a plastic prying tool. And then you just have to slide this cover away from your body. Once you have done the process, we then have four more screws to remove. The silver would be the top left corner and the other two is right in the middle. This part and that. Once you have removed the four screws, you then now can remove the back cover. What I like to do is I like to start from the very corner. Use a metal prying tool to get underneath that plastic cover. And have the plastic prying tool to add more pressure to the corner and open it up. Once you have removed the back cover, you will now see the internal part of your computer. All right, just a quick walkthrough. This is the laptop battery, CMOS, left and right CPU fan. This is your M.2 NVMe hard drive. You have additional slot where you can add additional hard drive to that. This is your Wi-Fi card and the RAM is hidden underneath this metal cover. What you have to do is just pry it open like so. And if you take a closer look here, that little metal hit there, those are the clipper that clips onto the bracket. So when you install, you just have to make sure you align and let it sit into that bracket. To remove, simply just pull it straight up. Now the DDR5 RAM is only installed with one single slot. You have additional secondary slot where you can add additional RAM to it. Now like what I'd like to show you to you is to remove the RAM. All you have to do is to push the two little metal here away from each other. 
push it away and now the ram will just pop out at 45 degree angle and you can slide it out to that direction and again slot number one slot number two here is the ddr5 ram how do you know you take a look here it says pc5 that is the ddr5 eight gigabytes of ram all right what i'll do is i'll link the description down below where you can buy the replacement ram or additional ram to add into your computer now assuming this is the new ram that comes in all you have to do is to make sure that the gap is aligned to the slot of this gap right here slide it in at 45 degree angle like that and push it in all you have to do just push right in the middle the two side clipper would lock and clip it in now eight gigabytes you can do another eight here there would be 16 total or you can change this out to 16 and add additional 16 there would be 32 gigabytes of ram this is the bracket to install you just have to push it back in to that slot just as simple as that once you have the bracket installed pretty much you're all set to go there's no configuration needed and you just have to put the back cover back together what i like to do is making sure the side of all the corner is being clipped down nice and firm the next step is to have the screws to put back together top right corner is the silver the white screw top left corner is the white one and there are two long screws right in the middle if you find this video is helpful all i'm asking in return is just smash the like button for me and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please feel free to subscribe I really appreciate you for doing that and again this um, plastic cover all you have to do is to slide it in push it all the way in and remember the two screws the shorter ones and just go it back together I'd be really appreciate if you like the video and if this is really helpful to you and you were able to add additional RAM to your laptop uh, just give me a like that would do if you have any question regarding about a computer repair, feel free to comment down below because I do read the comment and I will answer uh, your question through the comments. All right, once you have the full long screw that go on the top and the middle, you then work with the shorter screws at the bottom. If you're going to be curious to know, do I need to configure the RAM? The answer is no. As soon as you install the RAM, the computer would recognize it. And all you have to do is just start using a computer. Just a quick reminder, if you're not sure where to find the RAM, uh, please check the link down in the description below. I'll direct you to Amazon to get the DDR5 laptop RAM. And you can just install directly. okay there you go you're all set and again i wish you all the best uh let's just kind of turn it on and see there you go please wait while we install a system update that's because this computer here is brand new uh, we just reset back to factory settings so the computer is doing this installation on a new windows update system and again, uh, if you are interested to learn how to reset your Windows 11 back to factory settings, check the uh, little box right here. I'll link it down, um, a little picture right here on the left corner where you can, I don't know, it, it might be the shorts. Yeah, I, I made a short of it, sorry. I apologize. So sh check out the shorts um, on how to reset Windows 11 back to factory settings. Uh, this is a Lenovo laptop, that's what I did. And hope that this video is helpful. And again, uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.
Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye now.